Okay. Am I? Is, what did, I, did you put the wrong foot on there? Uh, they, did they send you two right feet? Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's show. Where we are going to talk about new boots. New boots, new boots, new boots. These boots are made for walking. <laughs> okay, and that's so, what just what they're going to do because if you guys have do. watched and subscribe and have notifications turned on, you probably did see the video that Ethan did. Oh, our table runner is getting in the way. Yep. See the video that Ethan did at SHOT Show this year on searching for the new best pair of hunting boots. We are tough on things. We Very tough. are in the field a lot. Like take tough. Hunting a lot. Multiply it by five. Hunting a lot. Training and you're probably a lot. still not even there. We're tough. And our boots break down really fast. Uh, I think that we go through a pair or more a year and they end up stinking and they end up breaking down and not being waterproof. And we just need to replace them and they don't have any support and comfort anymore. So we are looking for a boot that's going to do all the things and hold up to our lifestyle. So today we're going to do a first impression of the Loa branded Renegade boots. They make them for both men and women. Which is awesome because that is hard to come by. And they have a uh, cold weather version as well. We got the warm weather version, the cold weather version, and they have them for both, again, men and women. So we're going to be doing our first impressions today and find out, do they fit? What do we think? Now, this is the perfect time to go over. Um, everybody knows that I am a a bourbon fan, a, an aficionado. No, he's a bourbon fan. I'm I'm not an aficionado of anything. I'm a, a bourbon. Maybe um, bird dogs, but. Uh, maybe. I'm a, a consumer of bourbon, okay? Consumer. Yep. So I got a knife. From a very good client. Uh, it's got etching on this side that looks really sweet. Of a moose. I don't know if you can see it. Put it closer to the camera. Oh, I'm sure that it, it just punch in on it a little bit there. Okay, so this is uh, one knife. And then... I so Lee came out for a consult with his dog, Pearl. And that was a little while ago. And he gave this knife as a gift to Ethan as a thank you for everything. And we haven't had an opportunity to showcase it. So and today's then, the day. Yes. And then, uh, another from another client and friend as well. This is another sweet action blade. Um, and what does that say on there? Made out in Montana from another good, like I said, friend and client, Ryan. So we are going to utilize these as their first cuts. Intended purposes. Yep, to open some boxes. It may not seem super exciting, but I'm excited because I need a new pair of boots. Which one's mine and which one's yours? I have no idea. Just open one and we'll see. Okay. It's like Christmas. It's exactly like Christmas. I do want to say thank you for the knives. These suckers are sharp and make this tape look like nothing. As soon as we start hunting stuff again, I'm going to utilize these thing, these bad boys for cutting up some birds or some deers or some whatever. Not uh -oh. just cardboard. Uh-oh. These well, those, are mine. Those are definitely yours. My, <laughs> I guess. My, I guessed right. My feet aren't that big. Okay, so... <sighs> You know, this is actually hard to do while you're attached to headphones. That's what she said. I did say that. Okay, you got your, grab no, your extra I'm box out. Come on now. <sighs> I have short arms. Yep, and a long torso. <laughs> and short legs, oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, got rid of that. I got my boots. Okay, so they are the Loa Renegade GTX Mid. These are a, it says all-terrain classic. These are their um, uninsulated, lightweight hiking boots that are supposed to be uber durable. And these are the ones that this we This is featured. like literally not in English. Oh yeah, it is, but not its first language. So, okay, so, so far I'm gonna say right out of the bat, these things look like they have a lot of seams. That is true. 
Everless seams and seams are things that wear out. Now, I will say that everything is double stitched. You see that? Yeah. And yeah. we've got these really nice metal grommets. So metal they grommets are, not are key. Yeah. Metal grommets cloth are key. That are going to rip through. We've um, been wearing Keen boots for a while because they're comfortable and they're lightweight. And a lot of the Keen boots that we wear are not, um, they don't have the metal grommets here. And those They're metal cloth through here usually, yeah, and, and then they metal tear on the top. through, and then all of a sudden you can't tie your boots anymore. That's kind of a let's get this blade out of the way. Okay, okay so I'll do that too. So that's first impression. Sheath your blade. All right, gotta get the stuff out. Thanks for the packing materials. All right, so we've got the Renegade GTX in red. Yeah, if I got mean, mine in a, a normal boot color called leather. They have so many cool color options. I wasn't going to go with something boring. Uh-huh. Yep, I went double boring. Now, there's a couple things that I want to mention right off the bat about why I was super, super, super excited for these. Boxes be gone. They have the same cardboard... Thing in here. Of course they do. Holy cow, what is this? I got a bag. Aw, thanks. A reusable bag. Did you get I, one? I did not get a shopping bag. They gave it to the ladies because they know we like to shop. Look, Ethan, I got boring brown. Are you happy? I, I like it. It looks nice. And they've got cute little like furries around the top. Oh, these are going to be adorable. As well as functional. Yeah, adorable was what I was going for, folks. You see right here? Look at that. I love it. So these are the Renegade EVO Ice GTX. So again, Renegade GTX series. These are the EVO Ice. And then you have um, all of them with Vibram uh, soles, which is fantastic. Big, big old lugs. And then um, cold weather aspect of things. They're talking Gore-Tex. Do they give a temperature? It doesn't say temperature on them, but I'm saying right now, and I have hunted for years and years and years and years, okay? Count those real quick, like, with uninsulated boots. Even in the, I mean, snowstorm, we're out there, I'm on uninsulated boots. I'm a mover. Anything more than just a light amount of insulation, my feet are sweating to the point where they're going to end up being colder than what they would have been with the uninsulated boots. So, Except for me, absolutely not. If I don't have an insulated boot, my toes feel like they have frozen like off October and are rolling 16th. around in the bottom of my boots like little grapes. I need some insulation as well as I've used those little hot toes on my toes before. Ethan yeah, got me only... for Christmas some in insoles that are heated with batteries. I don't like cold feet. I'm saying right now, there's a huge difference between bird hunting with boots and deer hunting with boots. Because I'm talking I'm, deer hunting, or no, I'm I'm talking bird hunting. Yeah, I'm talking deer hunting. I have some electronic socks for deer hunting. Those suckers are great because when you're sitting still doing nothing, stuff gets cold real fast. When you're moving, stuff warms up. Well, so, apparently, I have really bad circulation. Yeah, you're just a girl, so you do girl I things am. now. Um, all of that being said here, these are designed to be fit the same. Now, the thing about this is the guy told me, and I'm saying it right now, I can feel it. These boots weigh almost exactly the same with my super accurate hand measurements here. They feel the same. I almost feel like my insulated boot is lighter. Like I do. I would agree with that. That it's ba barely. Barely, but. Bebop over there and grab the scale while we go over this here. Okay. We have a scale. We're going to check it because I didn't see online where it actually said what this sucker weighed. Um, but I do know that it talked about these and these fall into the very light category. For me, I need a light boot. I'm a mover. I'm a groover. I like to be getting boot scooting and boogieing. So I'm going to try these on and see. I ordered a 12, which is what I normally wear in, in boots. And let's see here. Oh, tighten those bad boys down. Let's, uh, yeah, I know that's what you all wanted to see. Look at that leg. Okay, so I got that tightened. They're not too high. 
too high is a big problem that I have with an early season boot because it restricts ankle movement and I'm not climbing mountains. Um, but I'm going to tell you right now that fits, uh, perfect. So I would say so far, I'm going to say the renegade mids run pretty true to size. Let's see here. Oh, good. Cause I haven't tried mine on yet. Yeah. Try yours on. I don't know if we need to move the table thingy. I don't think so. Okay. Let's all right, we got one boot here. Kaboom. It says 0.68 pounds. Are we in pounds? Now we're in pounds and ounces, right? Yes. One pound, eight ounces. One pound, eight ounces, folks. All right, one more boot here. I'm going to go with you. Oh, one pound, nine ounces. So we're talking about a higher profile boot. We've got the mid versus the high. Look at this bad boy here. I'll put them in so you can see. You're gaining an extra almost inch, inch and a half here. Maybe not quite two inches, not quite two inches. And you're only gaining one ounce, which is huge. Typically when you move in those winter boots, what do you have? 1.1. One pound. And again, these are both 12s. So that changes the size of the boot here. 1.1. Did it say 1.1 and a half? Throw that one back on there. Yeah, it did. It said one pound, one and a half ounces for the standard boot, and one pound, one ounce for the cute uh, winter boot, which also is double stitched and extremely durable. Looking, anyhow. All right, so I'm going to throw both of these on. Go ahead and throw yours on. Does it seem too big? I think so. <sighs> we'll see once I get them laced up. I felt like they were too big to begin with, and then I tightened them down. There's a lot of good uh, lacing down there, and I would uh, I would appreciate just a smidge extra toe room in that box down there so that you're not... Uh, um, I'm going to end up with sore, sore feet from a toe rubbing. I don't know. These are good for me. Yeah. I yep, need yep, both, yep. but I... They feel too big? We'll see. I kind of do. So don't you normally... So this, what are those, sevens? Yeah. So women's seven, you would say that you normally wear sevens in your boots. In my boots, yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mine feel good. I mean, they feel lightweight, which is key. For me, I like I said, I do, when I guide, when I hunt, I do a ton of walking. A ton, ton, ton of walking. And anytime I have moved up in that category to, uh, you know, like uh, a more full leather boot or something to that effect, at the end of the day, my knees kill me. It's just because I'm not used to the extra weight. I don't care for the extra weight. I don't want the extra weight. I want a lightweight boot. What do you think? Now that they're cinched up and I kind of have wiggled my toes around and walked, I think a seven's a good, good fit. Because if I wear a little bit thicker sock and or throw an insole in these because I have very particular feet, so I wear insoles a lot. You've got the room for the insole in there. Yep. Let's get this bad boy out of the way. Perfect. Okay. So, so far I'm going to say right now that the Renegade is the Renegade GTX standard boots. Initial feel is good. They feel a little bit stiff. A little stiff. Yep. Which is going to take a little bit of breaking in and some use. And I'm actually going to start that this weekend or this week, excuse me, because I'm going up. Um, I guide in South Dakota, as a lot of you guys know. And I'm going up to check out some new property and explore a little bit. So I'll have these bad boys on. We'll start that process. Um, but let's go ahead and switch over to the yeah, and ice. I would say, though, compared to like my normal, my Keens that I've been wearing for the last however many years, mm -hmm. definitely a stiffer initial feel. Does that mean that they're going to hold up and not break down as much? Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah, Because, um, uh, I mean, I love the Keen hiking boots, but... They feel those, like a tennis shoe, basically. Yeah, they're super lightweight. They're super easy to wear. But at the same time, I'm going to say 
Now I replace I replace a pair of those every six months. It's bad. You know, it's they just wear out about as fast as you about as fast as you buy a pair, they're flat worn out. So I started just buying two pair. And it's like, oh, wow, look at that. Each it, pair made it a year. It was know? actually funny because they used to warranty their yeah, boots. Yeah, they stopped warranting. They stopped warranting Ethan's boots. They're like, I said, uh, our boots will last a year. I said, well, not on my foot. They won't. Okay, so we're going into the, again, this is the GTX Loa brand, GTX Ice, Evo Ice, right? Is that what it says on it? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I can already feel right off the bat that there is definitely more cushion in that more insulation more insulation yep it feels like it feels fluffy that's exactly what i was gonna say (laughs) (laughs) now they they incorporated that fluff into the top of the girl's boot but it's the exact same fluff down here they just didn't put it on the they didn't give me any fringe on mine because on you know they made it doesn't need to look cute no it doesn't need to look cute but inside i'm feeling that extra insulation here let's see if i can show that off it's it feels, it feels you can so definitely soft. see it in my boot because of the contrasting colors. Yep. So it's, it looks, I knocked the mic one more time. It looks like wool in there. It's a black on these because they know it's for dudes. Dudes don't want pretty white fluff. But it's the same thing that you're seeing here up on top. No, it's not. Yours isn't the same here. No. So the so it's the, the same ladies, down in the low. It's though. the same down uh, low. The so ladies just have a really soft. We have a soft cuff. So about that far down in, it starts the same material that's up here, which is just kind of a, I don't know, feltish kind of feel, mm-hmm. kind of plush, woolly-ish. And then for mine, they've got this really soft, like minky feel around the ankle. So um, super cute and uh, soft and comfy. I'm going to say, I think I might have to exchange these. Why? They feel just a smidgeny too um, tight? too small. Yeah, too and tight. And I feel like they fit in my foot really good. That little bit snugger feel, that little bit more fitted feel, which is why I kind of initially felt like these sevens might be a bit big. So let's see when I get them laced up here what they feel like. Okay. Am I? Is, is this one? Did you put the wrong foot on there? Did they send you two right feet? I'm not. Doesn't that look like? <laughs> they they literally sent two left shoes. Two right. Two right shoes. Okay, guys. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Do I know how to put on a foot or what? They they sent you. All right, they sent two right boots. So. Uh... <laughs> well, I won't be trying the other one on today. You should try it on. See how it feels. <laughs> right. Really comfy. Well. <laughs> I'm going to say, I believe that's the first time I've ever received a pair of boots. Uh, and they're actually cats, but first time I've ever seen a pair of boots come as two rights. They might have been a return or something screwy like that. But well, I'm going to just check and see if they're the same size. So that's a seven. They're both sevens. But they are both, they are both definitely... For your right foot. So, so far my right foot felt fairly comfortable. I won't be able to get the full effect until we make a obvious exchange. <laughs> well, this was the first time we opened these, obviously. Okay, so after getting them on, I haven't you have even both stood up yet. Yeah, I have different feet. I don't know. They feel pretty good. I'm guessing they're left and right. 100% left and right. Um, they feel a lot better. Initially, I felt like they felt a little tight. I think that's just because these boots in general feel like they're going to take a smidgen more break in. I but agree. you can feel all of the, the. I'm pretty sure it's wool lining, you know, it, but it feels fluffy. It feels like it's got Plush, that. Plush, really mm-hmm. like form fitting, thick yep. insulation. And it's definitely got that higher and I can feel less ability to move in my ankle, but at the same time, it's going to keep the snow out, right? So that extra couple inches makes a big difference because of where, um, you know, typically I wear jeans or some form of pant and then chaps over top of that. And that extra inch, inch and a half is going to help keep that snow out of the top when we're hunting late season in the Dakotas or anything else. But this, um, Initial impressions, I'm going to say, are that it feels, I mean, it feels really good. It's a comfortable boot. And I would say, again, 
12 is what I typically wear in a boot. These are both 12s and um, you're gonna, she's gonna double check me real quick, but. They're 12s. Okay. I so, didn't know you had such big feet. Uh, you know what they say about guys with big feet. Big shoes. They wear big shoes. Yep, exactly. So, um, all of that being said, these are comfortable. What we're going to end up going ahead and doing from here on out is I'm going to exchange <laughs> cats those. out so that she can get a pair, a right and a left, a right and a left. But that that right boot fit really well. No, and I definitely felt like even with just fitting this on my right foot, uh, that. They felt a little more fitted, more snug, more comfortable, where Ethan felt maybe a little tight, whereas my initial ex- impression of the regular uninsulated boot was, uh, it might be a bit loose. So um, when I do this exchange, I may even go ahead and see what the six and a half feels like so that I can kind of have that comparison and then return, obviously, the pair that is two right boots and then keep whichever size ends up fitting better. I definitely know I'm going to order the seven in the insulated again, just with a matching pair. Um, and then they both felt stiff. I would say that my uninsulated boot felt a little stiffer. Um, yeah, yep. A little stiffer. That. So going to be a little bit of a break in period and kind of see how that comfort level changes throughout that, that period of comfort. That period of break-in. Break yep, there we break go. In. Now, they also sell a um, waterproofing that I'm guessing will be a great additive to the outside of these because any kind of waterproofing, no matter what boots you have, what brand, whatever, the waterproofing is going to wear out, but they do sell an additional, like, uh, keep them waterproofed if you're wearing into them. Which and is really show important. off uh, the soles here on these, again, Vibram soles, but the lugs on them are a little bit different, and they actually have what is listed here as Arctic Grip, and this portion here is different. Do yours have the same? Yep, they have, like, little... Uh... It feels sticky, kind of. It almost um, feels sticky to my finger. Sticky and or slash it feels like sandpaper. Yeah. You feel it that? It sticks to my finger. Yeah. Yep. So like a, a fine grit sandpaper to help you have extra grip when it's icy, wet, cold, all of those yeah, things. Yeah, that's kind of cool. It is very cool. Uh, when it gets slick, these are going to help you out. So the thing that I have to say that I am most excited about is the fact that I have a boot here to wear this year that is virtually the same weight. Every time I move into a snow boot or a winter boot, it's like I hate the sucker and I would rather get... Just deal with the wet, cold feet. Just deal with the wet, cold feet because I would wear the lighter boot. Even wet and soaked, it's still a lighter boot. So these are the same. And honestly, when I weighed these, these were actually a half an ounce heavier than the insulated version. So that's kind of interesting in a women's seven. It is interesting. And um, all said and done, I think I'm... Uh, my initial impression, my initial reaction to the boots are I'm very excited to get to try these out and we're going to keep you guys posted. First of all, once we get <laughs> that I'm not going to little... be wearing these for a while anyway because, you know, it's not winter. It's <laughs> no. like 90 degrees out. We'll get that little snafu uh, s- fixed switched up. around. Yeah, switched around. But then we're going to start rolling with these right away. We'll keep you posted on our thoughts. Again, I'm going up to check out our property for guiding in South Dakota this year and then we train on the regular here and on the property, these are going to be a great hiking boot. So all in all, so far, so good. We will keep you folks posted on what we think um, throughout the fall on these lower boots. Thanks for following along. I'm Cat the Dog Trainer. I'm the guy with the pink gun. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Mm-hmm.